In the DMZ mode for Modern Warfare 2, there are currently seven hidden items you can get for taking out bosses, one of them being this operator skin and one of them being this weapon blueprint. In this video, I'm gonna show you the quickest and most effective way to get this done, even if you're playing solo. And in the future, I'm gonna keep you fully up to date with any other hidden or exclusive items coming to the DMZ mode or any other mode here in Modern Warfare 2. Now, before we even start going over how this is done, the single biggest piece of advice I can give is find two other players to play with and play in a squad of three. I'm gonna be doing it solo in this video and everything I'm going to say is going to apply to solo players as well, but it's just going to be so much easier if you're playing with two other players. If you don't have any friends to play with, I am going to leave my Discord link below. There's tons of channels and tons of active people looking for other people to play DMZ with there. Now, when it comes to the class setup, it doesn't matter too much. I am going to be using my insured slot. I'm going to be using the RPK. This is my favorite so far to use in DMZ. Uh, here's the attachments I have on this, if that helps you out any. Then I've got a stim, a Simtex, a munitions box. And as you can see, I don't even have a gas mask. I don't have an armor carry. I've got the default one and I've got the default backpack. We're pretty much going in with nothing but our insured weapon. I am going to make sure I put the squad fill on because this is going to make sure we get a couple other teammates, which could help us out. It also might not. Now, as soon as you load in, the first thing you want to do is open your map. We're going to be looking for this right here. This is where the boss is located at the beginning of every DMZ map. There's going to be one of these located anywhere on the map. There's like eight or so different locations. So to get here, we want to get here fairly quickly. So we're going to find a vehicle. I don't want the SUV. Uh, this, the GMC Hummer. That's going to work very well for this. Now, if you're playing with other random people on your team, try to coordinate with them and kind of get them all on the same page. That way you're all going after this together, because even though there's only going to be one of these per match, it doesn't matter. Whenever one person on your squad X fills with this, everyone is going to get this item. It doesn't matter if you necessarily had it in your inventory. You could even be dead. Let's say I die out and my teammate X fills with this we all get the rewards for it. Okay, but now that we have a vehicle, we're gonna make sure we mark this on our map again, and that is where we're gonna head. Also, make sure to keep an eye out for how much gas you have, because vehicles in DMZ and Warzone 2 have gas, and if you start to run low, you might wanna head to a gas station, that way you can make it all the way to the zone. Luckily enough for us, it wasn't too far away where we're not gonna have to worry about it, but sometimes it will be on the complete opposite side of the map from you. Okay, here we go. We are now entering the yellow area. Somewhere in this area, there is going to be one juggernaut. That is the boss enemy. You now need to kill him and take the briefcase he drops. And sometimes it does take me quite a while to locate him. Usually what I'll do is I'll just drive around, but make sure your vehicle doesn't take too much damage. We are running out of gas. Oh, there's an armored vehicle. If you find one of these, definitely switch over to this because this can take a lot more damage and it's harder to hit you in this. But you'll know right away once you see the juggernaut. He's extremely hard to miss. Oh, there he is right there. So you can shoot him. However, the juggernaut has a ton of health. The easiest way to take him out is just to run him over. He is a one-shot kill. Now that we've taken... Oh, no, no. that's That was a bad area to get out at. Uh, you want to be careful getting out of this because there's also going to be other enemies. Now we're going to hop out. Nope, 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 nope. Get back in the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle. And dang it. Well, rip. That was that was a bad play on my part. I kept running over the case. You want to make sure after you run over the juggernaut to kind of secure the area. That way you're going to be able to grab the case. Since I'm playing solo and I don't have other people in my squad, we're going to have to restart and uh, yeah, get back here to this position again, even though the case is right there. That's what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Take number two. Let's try to find the juggernaut again. That's a real player. That's a real player. Oh, those are probably real players. Yep, that's a real player right there. All right, luckily the other guy doesn't know where the jug's at, so if we can get in and get out, he's probably gonna chase us though. Oh, there's the big boy. Come on. No, 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 no. Tap him, tap him, tap him. All right, back up. Okay, luckily there's not a lot of enemies around us. Oh, God dang it. Take two. Oh, there we go. There's a jug. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me yet. Not yet, not yet, yet. All right, there we go. All right, hopefully everything's safe. Oh, car. God dang it. Well, there goes our car. And as soon as you pick up this... Oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. As soon as we pick up this briefcase, we are now marked on the map for everyone else in real time. Like, there's a real player. Great. Now they're going to come after us. That was a thousand percent. Two real players. They're going to disable my car. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Uh, and this is going to be the hardest part because now you got to exfil with this. And essentially, every enemy on the entire map is going to know where you're at at all times. So even if we escape them and head to this exfil location right here, um, they're going to know which one we're going to, and they're probably going to track us down. And low fuel. Probably should have swapped out my car. Okay, so we're going to try to do it. We're going to go to this exfil location. We're going to start the exfil, and now we're just going to drive around in a vehicle. You can try to drop the case down in this area so people don't know exactly where you're at, but then you've got to worry about someone trying to pick it up and what's going to go down with that. So what I usually do is I just try to drive. I try to stay in a vehicle and drive the entire time. You are harder to hit. However, if they have a weapon that like an LMG, they can kind of just beam your, your vehicle until it explodes, which is something you want to avoid. Oh, this vehicle is going to be a little bit better. 
Ooh, slow down, slow down. Get out of this. And you're not really gonna know if other people are near you because they're not gonna have the marker on it. That's what makes this so hard. Luckily for right now, it seems like it's just NPCs here, but I have a feeling that team that we saw earlier more than likely followed us here. And that is what we're gonna struggle to get in with. All right, the helicopter is here. The real question is, should we go for it? Dang it, all right, I'm gonna try to close off the back with the vehicle. Maybe that will help. Oh, God dang it, there's real people here. There's definitely real people here. Three, two, whoa, oh, yep, snapshot grenade. Watch the doors, watch the doors, watch the doors. Okay, there we go. Once you're in the helicopter, you're still not safe. Don't peek out. You can still get shot in there. But now we have the weapon with us and we are leaving the DMZ. And there we go. Successful exfil. You're also going to get 10,000 XP for getting the loot box. And that's only going to apply to the person who takes out the, uh, the box itself. Everyone's going to get the items, but only the person who has the box itself is going to get that additional 10k XP. It's important to note that only one juggernaut in one case is going to spawn for every game of DMZ. You're going to know if someone else has already gotten it, because if the yellow zone goes away, someone's going to have that briefcase and they're going to be carrying it out. But if it's gone completely, that means someone's already extracted with the briefcase. It's already gone out of this world. There's no shot you're going to be able to get it. So now you're going to have to exfil and get a new game. And that's what makes this so hard, because if multiple people in your lobby are going for this, you're going to be essentially fighting over this briefcase. And now that there's actually some decent rewards you get for exfilling with this, I think you're going to see more and more people going after it. And it's going to get harder and harder to get until a little bit later in the game's life cycle, where a lot of the people who wanted to get it have already gone out of their way and retrieved all these rewards. The first seven times you exfil with one of these weapon crates, you're going to unlock an out of game item that can be used in all modes, not just DMZ. And they're going to be done in order. So the first time you are someone in your squad exfils with one of these, you're going to get the caution tape rpk variant and the rpk is one of the best weapons to use in dmz so this is actually a really good reward and i'd recommend everyone at least exfilling with one crate now the second time you exfil you're going to unlock the biohazard weapon sticker which is pretty self-explanatory it's a sticker for your weapon the third time you exfil with one of these crates you're going to unlock the jungle incognito vehicle skin uh for one of the choppers i don't know if you can even use this in dmz but it's fairly cool then the fourth time you're going to unlock the gas 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 charm this charm actually looks pretty sick and this is another one of the better items you get from doing this the fifth time you exit with one of these crates you're going to unlock the weapon crate calling card the sixth time you're going to get the weapon crate emblem then the seventh and final time this is when you're going to get the operator skin you're going to get the biohazard uh skin for kong and this looks pretty sick this almost looks like the chemist that is one of you know the other world events here in dmz and it's probably the single best free skin that you can unlock in modern warfare 2 right now these seven items are currently the only hidden out of game items that we know about that are in dmz right now whenever more of this stuff's discovered or there's future updates that add you know more stuff that you're going to be able to unlock like this i'm going to update you guys and make a guide showing you how to get it yourself so if you want to see those guides in the future when they come out make sure to sub to the channel if you love to like or comment i appreciate you a ton and i'll see you guys in the next one peace